Working in a film company with it not doing too good, the boss orders an employee to get his camera and visit an abandoned house which might get them some attention, as it seems to be the trend gaining a lot of watchers. A reluctant employee is pressured to do so, filming his experience and encounters, scared to what he might encounter. Building up his courage and entering the house, the first thing the protagonist encounters is a running tap, which comes as a surprise as this house was supposed to be abandoned and it wouldn't make much sense to how this tap was running. The protagonist starts finding horrifying evidence that some sort of malpractice has happened in here, finding strands of hair stuck in the air conditioning unit as if someone's head was shoved against it. After some time, the protagonist finds a VHS tape left on a table as if intentionally placed there for any visitor to find and watch. The protagonist not willing to watch what's on it, feeling as if being a trap, putting himself in an ambush, he is left with no other choice but to please his boss, playing the tape to see if it has any publicity value. The VHS tape is in a perspective of a view, showing two religious parents holding a cross and deeply praying in front of two deceased individuals with sheets fully covering them, which seems as if they are the children of this old couple having lost their son and daughter, being deeply traumatized by their recent passing, relying on their faith and religion to save them from this unimaginable pain and torment, and this seems to be all watched through the perspective of their grandchild who just recently lost his parents. This reveals that the family who used to reside in this house, which is now heavily in a state of disrepair, had a Christian faith, hence why a portrait of Jesus was found there, which was strangely intact, not having any sign of damage or aging. The events following are very strange as the person with the perspective of you finding a blood stain in a closet, which leads to a jump cut of the person holding the corpse of a bird burying it in the backyard. The boy in the video then hears a sound coming from the back house, which he goes to when a demonic voice commands him to find something for it to feed on, as the stench of mortality is bothering it. It seems as if the voice is emitted from some sort of demon, hence why it explains mortality is something that it hates, which could explain this entity as immortal. As a result, the person in the video offers the dead bird that he was about to bury as a feed to this being. The video ends here with the employee of the film company exploring the house to find more VHS tapes when he sees a woman from a window within the house staring at him. This severely horrifies the man who quickly goes to the corresponding corridor to see who this woman is, who strangely looks similar to the woman in the VHS tape when he notices there to be a white top hanging on a cliff track which makes him question himself that he might have just imagined it being scared when in actuality it was just a top. Finding another VHS tape in the burial site where the boy in the video wanted to bury the bird, he plays it, which continues on where the last VHS tape stopped. The entity within the hole demands the person on the tape to fetch him the head of a carp, a common name of a numerous species of fish, a name which has also been mentioned in Bible. The entity has a biblical way of speech and requires sacrifices and rituals for some unknown specific reason. That's what the person in the video does, taking a koi fish from their pond and cutting its head in the closet as the grandparents refuse to do it, which leads to a horrific scene of all the koi fish from the pond having their heads cut, all being in the room which the person has no recollection of. It might be a normal behavior to prepare fish for food, but usually koi fish is used for decoration. So it is a little odd that this happened, hence the reaction of the grandparents. When offering the head to the demonic entity in the hole, the tape comes to an end with the employee of the film company exploring the house some more as a story seems to be developing, being perfect for the bus to gain watchers. Finding another tape, it shows how the grandmother of the family was brutally murdered in her bedroom with a black crow picking on her eyes with a mysterious figure being shown on the static of the TV in the background. The person in the video seeing this horrific scene from the door's gap left the jar doesn't know what to do when the husband rushes in, shooing off the crow, falling to his knees in absolute shock and sadness, trying to protect the corpse of his beloved wife. While mourning her, huddling over her, 
her in a protective manner. He soon shifts his focus to the person in the video, which is the grandchild, speechless to how he could just stand there watching the grandmother with a crow picking at her. That's when it turns out these people were the grandparents of the person in the video. When the grandson gets instructed by the demonic entity to rip a look of her from the corpse of the grandmother and adorn a figurine with it and to give it to the entity. Just when the grandfather is crying and praying for the grandmother, distracted, the grandson rips some hair and places it on the figurine and offers it to the entity, which shares horrifying similar resemblance to the well-known haunted doll known as Akiko in the Japanese folklore, a cursed doll capable of hurting people. Horrified to what he's seeing, the employee of the film company jumps off his seat when he notices the doll appearing right next to him on the table, menacing staring at him in a solid position. Frozen in his place, the head of the doll falls, scaring the person even more watching all these horrifying tapes. As the protagonist believes he has seen enough, especially as he has probably enough material for making a good story, he tries to leave, but it turns out that the house is not done with him, locking all the doors, with the cursed doll appearing in different places, preventing him to leave. Trapped in this haunted house, filled with dolls of different shapes and sizes, with some still having fresh blood on them, the protagonist finds another tape which he unwillingly watches as he believes he is instructed to do so, otherwise he wouldn't be able to leave. This time around, the demonic entity informs the grandson that his grandfather has passed away in the bathtub under mysterious circumstances. The entity demands that he removes one of the grandfather's fingernails and gives it to the entity. It's unclear how the entity knows so much, but seemingly being an overwatching demon who has targeted this family, manipulating the grandchild to do his biddings, he seems to have the ability to not only observe the family, but to manipulate them. The grandson finds the lifeless body of the grandfather, who unfortunately is engulfed in a bathtub filled in his own blood when he proceeds to remove one of his fingernails. It's unclear how the grandfather met his doom, but it's it seems as if the grandson had some sort of hand in it. Maybe his amnesia can get possessed by the demonic entity, hence why he blacks out often and finds the corpses of different people. Maybe it was the grandson who killed the grandmother also, and also the parents. After the kid offers the fingernail to the demon, the protagonist of the filming company stands up, going to investigate the bathroom where he finds the bathtub still filled with blood. Draining the blood, he finds yet another tape, which he finds the tape player inside the underground with statues of Mary and paintings of Jesus adorning the place. The tape shows how the kid was manipulated to invert the crosses within the house decorating the place, making it an unholy trap for the demons to roam freely in. Some time passes and the employee never returns to work after his visit to the abandoned house. That's when a tape gets sent to the filming company that he worked for of someone kidnapping an obscured person and taking them to what seems to be the same abandoned house, cutting them into pieces and then offering their body parts to the demonic entity in the hole. The tape being watched by the boss of the company who ordered the employee to go to the house and another subordinate, the subordinate shocked to what he just watched, asks the bus if this victim could be the same employee that the bus ordered to go to the abandoned house as he hasn't returned to work ever since, to which the bus keeps on denying, claiming it's all fake and not real. The subordinate then excuses himself to use the bathroom when the bus not having a grain of remorse stands up, dismissing all the likely possibilities that he sent one of his employees to his doom, not willing to take any accountability. That's when he hears a strange sound, observing that there's an intruder which brings the story to a sudden end. It's clear at this point that the person breaking in was the grown-up son of the family whom he performed some rituals on to satisfy a demon in his back household, here to remove all evidence of him ever being involved and in killing the bus, after killing his employee who snuck into the house. Therefore, it's clear that the grandson of the family was somehow manipulated by a biblical demonic entity targeting a very pious and religious family. This demonic entity thought it would be the 
the best to destroy this family from within, using one of their own family members to cause all the damage and hurt. After the family members start dying one by one under mysterious circumstances, seemingly through rituals the grandson performed, instructed by the demon, he becomes a perfect instrument for the demon to control and command to do his beddings. That's when he kills one of the employees of the company and then eventually the boss. Therefore, it could be concluded that the grandson became a demon worshipper willing to kill and cause harm to anyone or anything that he has ordered to do. And that's it for this video folks. If you enjoyed it, make sure to stay tuned for more by hitting on the subscribe button and the notification bell. As always, it's been your host Star, and I will see you on the next video. Have a fantastic day.